Hello and welcome to this special on the ranch edition of NCBA's Cattleman to Cattleman. I'm Kevin Auctioner. Thanks for joining us. No matter where you raise cattle, grass is an essential and low cost feed source. Even with lower grain prices, there are still benefits for cattle producers who maximize their forage production and use it to increase the gain and productivity of their herd. So big rewards accrue to those who learn to manage their grass and forage effectively. Today, we're focusing on key strategies that will improve your grass with expert insights from Dow AgriSciences and from leading producers, one from Iowa and one from right here in Florida. We're coming to you today from the Lightsey Cattle Company here in Lake Wales, Florida. And we begin by welcoming two of our guests. Dave Owens is a portfolio marketing leader for Dow AgriSciences, and Lane Lightsey is a sixth generation rancher and co-owner of Lightsey Cattle Company. Lane, thanks so much for having us on your ranch. Glad to have you all. I understand six generations dating all the way back to 1850. Tell us a little bit about your operation. Well, our family came here from Georgia uh, at that time in history, right after statehood. And um, probably did more than cattle then. Timber was a big industry then, but uh, had cattle. Um, we're probably during that era when they were actually shipping cows to Cuba. Um, that was a, a big part of the economy then for Florida cows. Uh, and they were really just old Spanish cows back then. And then uh, as time went on, as I was just a youngster, uh, we had a, had a fence law come along that uh, changed the industry where we started fencing off pastures. And in doing so, um, we started improving pastures, planting different grasses um, and improving uh, the type of cattle we raise. And then we've slowly tried to get further and further away from the Brahma over the years. We found out we can't get totally away from Brahma in Florida because of the heat. So we still uh, will always have some Brahma influence. And we're kind of proud of that, really. Uh, we like our Brahma cattle uh, as they do in Texas. Um, and that's kind of where we're at today. Outstanding. Well, we're looking forward to learning a little bit more about your operation, particularly how you manage this forage. Dave, you get around a lot of parts of the country. As we enter another grazing season, what are cattlemen telling you? Well, they're really excited to get off and running this year. Uh, we've had some great moisture uh, over the uh, late fall, early winter. And of course, we've had a really early spring in a lot of parts of uh, the country. It's been uh, 70s up in the Dakotas already. That's almost unheard of. And uh, folks are just really anxious to get going uh, with the season. I know uh, folks are uh, a little bit worried about some of the uh, cattle market volatility, but I tell you what, they're still looking forward to a great grazing season and it's shaping up to be one of those. Well, you mentioned a couple things. Certainly we do have more moisture and and uh, we have had some turbulence and volatility in the markets. Obviously, good moisture and good markets don't last forever. Why is it so important, Dave, to, to invest in these forage resources through good years and bad? Well, that's really one of the key things to really maintaining uh, your cattle out on your ranch. And uh, it gives you a lot of flexibility, um, whether it be uh, keeping cattle longer, uh, you know, as calves, um, not shipping them to market, uh, taking advantage of some of the timing there uh, as the seasonal prices uh, uh, progress throughout the year. And then also, we had a lot of folks lose uh, some of their genetics off of their ranches uh, in the last couple of droughts. So if you go into the season with the mindset of getting a good forage base that's going to outlast really what you need for that particular season, you're going to be able to keep those genetics on your ranch. Lane, what are some of the biggest challenges that you face in achieving some of the goals that you and your brother have? Well, one of our goals is to try to raise more cattle on less acreage. Uh, taxes go up. Um, there's less land to run cows on. And we live in Florida. Uh, developments encroaching on Florida every year. Uh, when I was a kid, we had 4 million people in uh, Florida. Now we've got close to 20 million. So it's a very popular state to move to. Um, Florida, though, is still one of the best cattle states in the country. Uh, a friend of mine from uh, South Dakota said, you know, y'all got the best state in the, in, in the United States because you don't have winter. Uh, and we do have an abundance of for forage. It's not, the, it's not the best forage in the world, but we have a lot of it. And so, uh, and we do some things to uh, 
offset that, we, we, we supplement cattle quite a bit. We do a feeding program with our cattle and buy some, get some byproducts and give to them, and that helps quite a bit. And then, uh, and we try to do a good job of weed control. You know, if you look in this pasture right now, if you pan it, you'll see there there are no weeds here. It's we, a uh, great looking pasture. Yeah, we, we do a good job of controlling them. Yeah, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about that, but Dave, uh, tell folks uh, about a few of the things that Dow AgriSciences does to, uh, to help cattlemen like the light season. Well, of course, we do lots of research on uh, weed and brush control. Uh, we also look at the uh, full systems approach, uh, whether that be integrating uh, all kinds of improved forages into some of your native grasses. Uh, we've got uh, a sister seed organization, Berenberg, that uh, helps us out in, in that particular uh, arena. And really, we've got a lot of boots on the ground, uh, a lot of sales reps that can come out, make good recommendations for folks, and really help them individually uh, get their problems solved. Outstanding. Well, we're looking forward to learning more. Again, uh, we're going to share more insights into the best practices in pasture and rangeland management for producers in all parts of the country. But if you'd like to learn more information about improving your forage, Dow AgriSciences, or any of our discussion topics today, a great resource is the website rangeandpasture.com. <music>